you guys look, see it? Got in my net now, look. Still going in, still going in, still going in. Biggest shell of the day. Oh, yeah. Check that one out, guys. That is definitely going to be very tasty, that oyster. This one here is going to be even tastier. That is a nice oyster. A little lemon juice on there, like that. Mm. Wow. Right, here we go. Net in the water for the first drop. It's pretty shallow. It's the 5th of September. A lot of that crap is coming out of the lagoon entrance which is just around the corner here or exit just around the corner a lot of crap so hopefully that that should all like wash away when the tide starts coming in as you can see it's coming in pretty quick now up by the edge there haven't seen anything yet just hope the weather holds off for a bit And deja vu, here we are here with rubber again. These are some sticks from yesterday. As you can see, she doesn't want to, doesn't even care about white baiting. But I know you'd eat white bait fritters, wouldn't you? Hey! That should keep her busy for a couple of seconds. I can see her tail wagging. There she is. Hi! That was quick. You found it. Hey. You found that stick. Just got our first little show, wasn't many, but something in there just popped up. Maybe about, maybe about 20 or so. Perfect spot, there you go. There's a white bait went straight in the middle. Let me get there. One, four, five, oh, about 15 or so. That little shoal came in on the end there. Oh, it was gone dirty again, look. Did I get them? Oh, yeah, there we go. Another bit the same as last time, I think. Maybe a bit more. Time is time is quarter past eight, so we've been here just over an hour. Eight, so eleven o'clock is high tide today here. Hey, rubber, you're right. Oh, the rain's coming. So we're going to hunker down here under the umbrella. Sweet ears, eh, rubber? I've seen a shoal go in. I'll film this one. It might be a good shoal. Let's have a look together. Ready? Oh, it's not too bad getting. 
not as big as I thought it was going to be, but it's not big, but you know it all adds up to a, some tasty fritters. There. Anyway, the water's cleared up heaps, so we'll get rid of all this mud. And there's our catch so far for today. Here. I wouldn't mind putting an umbrella over the water so I can see my markers. <clears throat> oh, incoming tide. Just... <clears throat> this is pretty crap. Cheers everybody, cheers, warm brews and awesome views, exactly. It might just be a quick video today. Shoal going in right now. Be shoveled today. Let's get out of here quick. Chase up. Let's check it out together. Look at it. Not the biggest shoal, but that is the best shoal I've got today. Here it is. It's our biggest shoal today. Look. That's it. Hopefully, they might come and start running soon. Here's our wubba, the water wet. Wubba, you are water wet, wubba. Bait. I'm all packed up and, and Gary's over here. Look, my net's packed up. I'm not going to put it out again. There you go. It's a good shoal. Get them all? Yep. Well, that's what happens when you white bait. Oh, far out. It is a warm spring day today, my friends. It is a warm spring day today. Welcome back to another white bait video. Welcome back. Here we are back down the river again. We've got a mid incoming tide this morning. 
it's about quarter to 11. We've got a low tide at 10 past 7 this morning. High tides, I think it's like half past 1, 25 past 1. Very, very low high tide of 1.7 meters today. So it's not very high at all compared to the 2.2s we've had. Uh, we've had three days of rain. Yesterday and day before was quite heavy. Today's Friday, yes, so Wednesday, Thursday, we had some really heavy rain. So there should be some fresh in the water now for us. Um, I neighbor Gary came here yesterday, day before, he reckons he got 100 grams each day. So not sure how we're going to get on today, but we are here. So it's been two days since I was last here because of the rain. Probably three days actually. Anyway, I'm going to set up my my net as usual, and then we'll get to you guys when we put our net in for the first time today. That river's quite clean. But I've got a good feeling about today. I don't know about you guys, but. Perfect, it's perfect. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, ready now. Are you ready? You want some water? The first little shoal, but it's not many. Let's have a look. 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 Big shoal of little bait fish. Look, they're going to do my mark and they see my mark and they're turning around. They're not keen on coming over. They're going to go around it. You guys can't see that. They're about probably that long. There they go. Look. See them? These don't go on my net. Actually, that'd be good bait. Those. Big enough for bait. No, they're going to grab my marker. No, they're just in front of my marker now. They're not keen. If we had more current, they'd be keen. There they go. Look, see? There you go, look. Up, eh? Take a look. Take a look. Yeah, boy. Take that time for bait. Here we go. Check these out. Where are they? Look. Look at good bait, look. See those? Look at those. Okay, so but we'll let them go. Look like little kahoi. We got it. I'll let them go. It'll be a good sized bait. Check those out. They're white bait here, huh? 
might give me the most excitement all day making a cup of soup I've got things to do and I don't want to sit around here all day and nothing's happening but no me I will that's what white batting's about with these late tides. It gets hot. I should be home by now, 10 o'clock. So, yep, green pea and ham, is it? Yeah, green pea and ham. Who likes that soup? So cheers everybody and welcome back to this video. I think I'm gonna to have to I'm gonna put these two videos together, this one and the other day, and I'm, it's not gonna make much at all, it's not gonna be a, much of a video. Even with all my fancy editing, it won't save this video. Shawington. My shawl for me anyway. Hey. Finally got something. Look. Yay. Shawl going in, big shawl going in. Yeah, they're going that wide. Go in, go in. Yep, they're going in. Look, yeah. Let's take that one out. You ready? Oh, yeah, like two minutes after the other shawl. Yes. Not even two minutes. Let's have a look. Yeah. Nice, hurry up, wait, put them in the window, bucket, choice. It was like a minute after the other show. Oh, there's some big buggers in here. Yeah, nice and fritters, but if I give these bags away to people, they don't want those in the bag. Silver sort of bellies, look. But I got these, look, nice white bait. There you go. Yeah, nice white bait. That's what you want. That's a good shawl. You're getting bigger. That's looking a bit healthy, doesn't it? Good shawl. Here comes the shawl coming over. It's gonna come over fast, the shawl. I'm gonna get ready. There it goes, look. See it? Got in my net now, look. Over the markers in my net. And we have got them all. I saw that water rippling. Are you ready? Check this out. There you go. Go 
Kurwa, dojść. Dojść. Daj. Pisz all the day. We saw the day. Yeah, so I saw the ripples in the water up here, so I knew they were coming, and then I just sort of saw them come in up here. The water's so still, you can see the ripples. Oh, it's been shoal the whole day, that one. Yay. Yeah. 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 There we go. Oh, I missed heaps before. Up. I missed quite a few and it wasn't right and these are the last of them that come over, come back over but at least I've got these ones far out there's a great shoal biggest shoal I've seen this season and I lost them but I've got these ones so I'm happy Change my net around a bit. You now that we shallow water. See if I can get it on camera. Here they go, my net. Look. Straight into my net. Still going in. Still going in. Still going in. Bigger shoal the day. George, keep going. Keep going in. Oh, keep going in. Keep going in. Still going in. There they go. Bigger shoal of the whole day. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Shoot that out. Ah, yes, we've got them all too. We've got all of those. Wow. I saw them coming down here, so I got the camera out. But you guys, I don't think I'd better get it on camera. Here we are. It's a good show. Past two year an hour, not going tired, and uh, we are doing really well now. That really made our bucket look way better. Here we go. Oh, I'm happy with that. Last one down there. Well, we'll carry on. Not only is this umbrella good for rain, it's actually good for the sun as well, so I always bring it down. I don't want to take that water home because it's heavy. It's on the weight bait, so we'll get out of there. There's a few in there. And that I'm happy with. Look, nearly got half a colander there. You might have maybe 400 grams. catch for today so if I don't see you guys here another shoal we'll meet you back at home where we shall weigh this catch and I showed Gary he thought he was quite impressed with that so we're not quite sure what the tide is you know it might be you know some incoming but outgoing it's just not consistent you just got to turn up and stay and and hopefully you get some on those tides that you're here. That's it, brother. Good show, yeah. That's what, that's what I was getting. Like yeah. that. Are you ready? Let's weigh it up. Here it goes. Oh, oh. then you got 320 grams. 348 grams, so nearly half a kilo, not quite. So the other day we were 334, now we've got another 10, 11 grams more. There you go, there's our catch for today. I'm happy with that.
Good morning to everybody. Oh, just look, footprints already, right? Good morning, everybody. Wow. We're here at uh, one of our oyster spots. Actually, this is probably my first oyster spot I to come to. And we're here to see if there's any oysters here. Just here, at our spot, Rubber gets out of the car and straight away she does a big poo in front of everyone. So like I got my bag here, plastic bag, I'm usually going to do it. She just can't help herself, that dog. So we're here, I'm not sure we're going to get on. There's footprints everywhere. We'll try it out and see if there's any oysters here. We only need a few today for a taste test. Not sure how our chances are going to be because people know how to get oysters around here now and it seems everybody's around here getting the, some oysters. Look at the footprints now. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can find anything big enough to eat. What have we got here? I mean, that's all right. That's a, we need a few for a taste test. They're not big ones. Fishy here now. But hopefully we'll be able to get some for a taste test. It is oyster season at the moment. And, oh, I, oh, eagle eyes just spotted this one sticking out. That one looks big enough. Oh, look at that, I'm surprised that you can still find some here. That's not a bad one for here. Oh, Just having a bit of a foot massage in the mud. Alright, let's have a look in here. Oh, I can see a couple there already sticking out of the mud. Let's have a look in here. Let's have a look. Do I see them? There they are, look. There's one, oh, there's a couple there, look. There's some there, and there's one over here, look. Oh, that's a nice one. Look, that's a nice one. Oh, wow. That's a good oyster for here, look. Considering they've got a lot of footprints, I managed to come across this nice oyster. Nice mangrove tree, let's get it out. Oh, yeah. Check that out. A couple of tasty big fat teal oysters. Look at that. Yum. Does this one stuck on there? We'll grab that one. We'll grab anything else in here. What's that? There's one there. Look. It's got our name on it. Ready? Let's pull it out. Ready? Oh, here it comes. Yeah, boy. Nice. So, we are doing pretty well so far. We've only been about 10 minutes. Good enough there for a taste test already. Check that one out, guys. That's a nice oyster. Oh, yum. Oh, here it comes. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah, look at that. Now, I tell you, that is pretty good for here, considering that people come here and uh, there's footprints everywhere. I can still find these here. These are actually bigger than that last spot I went to. I think I'm walking around in circles. <sighs> Another one here, look. Tahi. <laughs> look at that, too. I'm so surprised that there's big horses here. <sighs> yeah, reaching, long arms. Oh, Another one there. Look at that one on here. Look, there's footprints everywhere, and I found that one. Rubber's over there. Rubber, you have to. Oh, I'm stuck now. Oh shit. I'm stuck. 
really stuck. Rubber took the head out. Hey, Rubber cruising around over there. There's a couple there. There. And there. And there. There we go. Three nice oysters. There we go. You've got some very nice teal there. That's enough for a taste test. I'm going to enjoy eating these. These are actually bigger than the ones we got last time. Around the other spot. So we'll go around to the harbour and we're going to clean these up and we'll have a taste test. Oh, look at that. That might be the first one I'm going to try. Oh, that one. So excuse the uh, wind, but it is very, very windy at the moment. And I'm not sure, not sure we're going to have our taste test because I need the frying pan and the gas. And the wind's blowing straight towards us from this direction here. There's a guy with his rod in the sand, look. Not a good idea having a rod in the sand, a bit of having a rod holder. Because this place here is known for stingrays, uh, eagle rays, I mean. You get a ray on your line, you'll definitely uh, be uh, taking your rod for a swim. For ages, eh, bro? Hey. This is actually quite an easy get of that one. Easier than I thought. That is definitely going to be very tasty, that also. Isn't it? So there you go, that's all I've got today. So I haven't got many. Just enough for a taste test. Look like more in the bucket, but it's not. And we've got some well, empty shell there. That one's okay. So, now there's some nice oysters, that's, that's pretty good for around there. And that is a nice oyster, so we might have to have, maybe have these two first. First, first. But these are way better than... Rubber wants to swim up. So I'll give them one more clean. So windy out here. We all want to go and film over here where my spotters are. It's just too windy, so I'm not sure where to go. I've got to go somewhere out, out of the wind to film this vlog. I've got I've got my weight bait in here. I've got my famous blue plate. There's our weight bait. That was for my day's catch ages ago. It's defrosted and it's ready to cook up. So I'm just thinking of some place to go and film this rest of this vlog. I'm not sure where to go. I might have to do it at home, out of the wind. Far out, man, it's cold, that wind's cold. I think that wind's died down, so I might just go over to my old spot over here. We might have a cook up over there. I don't really feel like doing this at home, so I might just do it here and get it over with. Hey, rubber, so you can have a bit longer down the harbour. Here we are, that didn't take long, did it? There you go. So it's not actually my normal spot here, but I've been here before to cook up a delicious kai. I think I cooked up some fish heads here a while ago. What the hell is going on over here? You can over here up to mischief. And the wind has stopped. The wind's stopped for the moment, so I might I might sit up over here and we'll do our video right here. Uh, cook up our white baked fritter. Oh yeah, I might cook it up here. 
for everyone today. Right, I'll get everything out of the car. I've got the frying pan, we've got the gas stove, and we got our white bait. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot the bloody butter. Shazer. No, we've got to go home. Right, we've got to go home. Sorry, no butter. I can't do a video. Cook up white bait fritters with no butter. No. Or can I? Um... Hey, Mr. Corby. Hey, Mr. Corby. Hello. Hey, do you like oysters? Not really. We're off to the white bait spot, and we are going to be having a taste test today, but not of white bait. We're going to be having a taste test of our oysters that we got yesterday around the harbour. Let's have a taste test of some white, uh, not white bait. Why do I keep saying white bait for this? I didn't bring my white bait net down. What do I keep saying them for? So let's go to Robert knows our spot. Yeah, bro. You know where we are, Robert. Here we are, my friends. Here is the old spot where we're going to have some. Hey. Let's have our. Old... Let's have a taste test over here, shall we? Man, it's so warm. It's such a warm day today. So it's going to be the first time on my channel where we're going to have some oysters at a white bait spot. So I'm going to set up the old camera here, and we're going to open up some white bait. Oh, oh Michael, Michael, stop saying white bait. I'm not doing it on purpose. So give me a second. Just going to put our pole here. So we're going to have our oysters, I should say. Man, it's over here by the riverbank at, at our white bait spot. I'm going to try and find somewhere to set my camera up so it's not too noisy for you guys. I've got a, a windsock on my GoPro. It's like a foam, a foam thing over the microphones, which works pretty good. So today we're going to have some oysters. If I take out my little board, we have here some delicious oysters or teal. I'm going to have a taste test for you guys. That's a nice one. And, oh yeah, check that one out. I'm going to this one here first. And oh, did I bring my glove? I got my glove. And also I brought a lemon because I'm enjoying my white bait. I'm enjoying my oysters with lemon juice. I just normally have them El Natural, but I think the lemon juice on them is very nice. Also, I'm having lemon juice on white bait fritters now. Oh, I never used to, but it just gives it a really nice taste. So we're going to try and finish off a few oysters here for you, right here by the river. Should we open them up and should we see if they're fat and creamy? Let's have a look, shall we? We've got here some teal. I'm going to pull some out. We're going to open them up. Then I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice on them and we'll have a taste test. Rob, I'm having some oysters for this video. You don't like oysters, but she likes white bait. Do you? Okay, let's get some out and we'll open them up and then we can have a taste test. A bit of lemon juice on them and then we're gonna eat them for you. Here, just have one by itself, for starters, if I show you guys the oyster. Oh, yeah. We'll just show you that. Open it up like that, see. Let me just try that. Mm. And there is our first teal oyster. And I'm going to have that by itself just to make sure it's okay to eat with lemon juice. It's not too bad, is it? Not bad for around here. Right. Mm. Well, wow. oh man, the first one is. Always the best one. I asked Mr. Corby next door if he likes oysters, but he doesn't eat them. So it's gonna be the more for us. And I'm gonna shell some. Mm. And we're gonna shell some for Aaron later on. It's number two there. Alright. Oh yeah, 
they are they are very tasty oyster number three there we go oh man mmm right so there's three without lemon juice here's a nice one mmm man oh man oh man but I think that this one here is going to be even tastier are you ready for this one my friends that is a nice oyster look at that that is pretty fat fat oyster yum and I'm just gonna cut the lemon up a little lemon juice on there like that and now that's gonna be so tasty check that one out oh yeah ready mm. wow oh wow there we go Right, so there we have it. That is the end of this taste test of oysters. Rubber's up there. No oysters for rubber today. Or tomorrow, or yesterday. Rubber doesn't like oysters.